Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeep's.com, and in this multi-part video series, we're working with our live visualizer module. So let's get started. What we've done so far is we've created a recipe structure, and we've added a bunch of recipes to our um, to our visualizer module, and uh, we've learned how to create visualizers. We've we've looked at how to do sorting and filtering, and how to how to show uh, selected content. What we're going to do in this video is basically uh, consume a visualizer or the or the content filtering and sorting. Uh, why the rest api so uh, so let's go ahead and take a look let's do a quick filter how about i only want to see um, recipes that use chicken so here's my chicken recipes now there's four recipes and it's super easy all you have to do is update and you're done but before you do that go back to the settings here and there's this api link that you can use i'm going to copy this and hit update and now i'm going to go ahead and open this new window and paste that link in and what you see here is your uh REST API, and if you look at this API, we're gonna spend a few minutes looking at it, uh, we see some JSON data. So what I'm gonna do here is actually copy and paste this JSON data into a JSON viewer, so it's, uh, it's somewhat easy to, to navigate and understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and just kind of paste it here, and then go to the viewer, and there we go. So uh, what we got in this JSON is we got submissions, which is our actual recipes, and you can see there's four of them here because we had filtered to only show chicken recipes. There's four recipes there. Let's look at the first one. And what we see is this is called fried chicken. And what you're gonna see on the left is some uh, unique ID and you know, it it's looks like kind of like a garbage. It's not actually garbage. The reason is the headers uh, could, could be changed on the fly. Anyone could go in and decide to call the uh, recipe name to something else. Uh, they might call it you know something else uh, so these labels can can always get renamed so instead of giving you labels in your app what we give you is we we give you a header to kind of join those labels together so anytime you see this ID that is the recipe name uh, let's let's go ahead and now try and make sense out of this you can see right here EC86 EC86 is the recipe name so the name of the recipe is fried chicken and uh, there's something else here also 8FF something which is called pictures so there's one picture in this recipe and the name of the picture is this and the path is right here uh, there's uh, uh, there's also some other 8B73 something which is the ingredients and you see the ingredients is here so all the data is already there uh, let's go ahead kind of uh, take a look here so you could see when the recipe was created who created it uh, what's its status and so forth so all the information that you need is right here in the recipe four recipes are right there uh, your headers are right here as well and then you have your pagination as well for example it's telling you totally in total i have four items right now the page size is set to 10 you are in page number one and so forth so it lets you kind of figure out uh if you need to go ahead and queue um, and look at the the other other part so here is the url actually that I, uh, I initiated right here. Now, as you can see, it, there's the size, that's page size, so you can do more than 10 uh, or less than 10. And there's your page number right there. So pretty cool. Now, let me go ahead and kind of go back to the, to the filtering, and I'm gonna uh, change this to, uh, let's say, change this to say, I wanna see beef recipes uh, instead of chicken, and I see there's two of them. Let's update this. Let's go back to my, uh, uh, REST API link right here. And let's refresh this. And now you see it is showing me the beef recipes. And uh, so it's all uh, updated in real time on the fly, which means you make a change in Live Visualizer and all your iOS devices, Android devices, or anywhere else where you're using uh, the REST API automatically get updated. So that's super cool. One other thing I wanna mention before we, uh, we sign off in this video is your DNN permissions are enforced. So if I were to just simply take this URL, uh, open up a, a new window uh, and paste it in there, it's not gonna, uh, it's not gonna work. Okay, so, so that's strange. I mean, I just pasted it, but I still see my data. Um, not what I was mentioning. So let's go back here and let's go back to my data, my structure. And the reason I'm still seeing it because I forgot that I've set it up that recipes can be uh, can be seen by all users. So let's go ahead and change this to registered users really quick and, and come back here. Okay, so if I were to open a new window now and paste that link in, 
and what what I now get is is basically nothing. There's there's no data uh, because the person who's logged in does not have access to see any of the data. So your permissions are enforced, uh, and you can use JWT tokens uh, to talk back and forth with uh, with DNN using the REST API. That's it for this short video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to open our support ticket and we'll be happy to assist you.